Alright guys, back to you with another review. Food review. Um, more of a condiment review, but I guess I'm going with spicy today. It's super hot outside. I know I keep complaining about that. But fun fact, when you eat hot food, it makes you sweat. And the sweat helps is your natural body's defense to help you cool down. And also, things that are hot, um, the hotter it is, like Scoville units, the higher it is in vitamin C. Uh, so a lot of cultures that eat a lot of spicy, really spicy food don't have all of the same health problems as a lot of other countries do that don't participate in lots of spicy food. Also, vegetables play a role, but this is all about spice. So today we're going to try Fargon Hot Sauce Habanero Pepper Authentica Sazon. Yeah. And this one is the orange one. They also had a green one and a red one, but the reason I got this one was because it was the only one that didn't have uh, food coloring in it. And if you want me to go into a whole video about food coloring, I can go ahead and do that. But um, food coloring is terrible for your body. In moderation, yes, but I try not to consume it, if at all possible. Um, so this one has habanero peppers, mustard, vinegar, salt, water, onion, xanthan gum, and sodium benzoate. And I also thought that it was interesting because I've never had a Mexican, maybe this isn't Mexican, but it looks Mexican. It was in the Mexican section, the Hispanic section. Um, so I've never had a Mexican Hispanic hot sauce that had mustard in it. Now I have had the Asian hot mustard. I think it's Chinese hot mustard, like the ones you get at the, um, Asian restaurants. And I'm not particularly a huge fan of those, but it is pretty good when you put it on an egg roll or a veggie roll or whatever, or those vegan cream cheese wontons. Cream cheese wontons at normal places are not vegan, but there's so good if you find them vegan. You can also make them yourself. Let me know if you want me to make a video on how to make vegan cream cheese wontons. But enough rambling and let's get into this. It looks like the serving size is one teaspoon. Um, and for one teaspoon, it only it has 60 milligrams of sodium. So I feel like this is something that you would use very sparingly. Um, so let's see what it's all about. I'm expecting a lot more heat from this. If you haven't seen my other hot review, I just did the La Victoria Salsa Ranchera uh, review. Uh, post that below. This is probably going to be a lot hotter than that. So, yes, excuse me if you heard that noise. My timer just went off. After this review, I'm going to go get my kid. He's on potty training 101. So, um, yeah, he's got to be fully potty trained before preschool. In October so yeah let me just taste this real quick getting out my chip I'm using just a generic corn chip so I can go ahead and taste that and I've still got my spoon to see if it is really as hot as it says then if I'm daring enough to try it see on the back it says mild hot and very hot and it says very hot right here so we're just gonna go ahead and try this Let's put some on my chip. I'm assuming the hole is small. Ooh, the hole is like a regular like Tabasco hole. So more than I thought is going to come out onto this chip. I thought it was going to be like a tiny hole, like when you get the really hot uh, salsas that are high in Scoville units, the hole is like super tiny. This one is just a normal hot sauce hole. So let's hope not a lot comes out at once. Okay, so not a lot comes out. Okay, whoa, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got a lot on there. Can you guys see? We're going to just lick it and try it. A lot more vinegary than I was expecting. Whoa, that's sour. Okay. Wow. That's hot. Mm, it lives up to its name that it's hot. It immediately punches you with that sour, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, flavor-wise, it's very sour. It's got habanero pepper. See, the first ingredients are habanero peppers, then mustard, then vinegar. 
So it has more vinegar than it does salt and onion. So that's probably what's giving it a lot of the flavor, besides, of course, the habanero peppers, which do have a flavor of their own. But I'm going to try this one more time on the chip and just see how it pairs with the chip. I think this would really be really good on a street taco or um, on top of your enchiladas. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, see, if you get it down the wrong pipe, that's pretty hot. Mm. Now, I'm not comparing salsas, but compared to the salsa ranchera, if you haven't seen my La Victoria salsa ranchera review, I'll put that down below. Um, this is definitely more spicy, but again, it's another way hotter, but it's another, um, you know, not extremely hot, like burn your mouth, I need to drink a water kind of hot. Well, it really depends on your heat level, how much you can stand, but this one is pretty hot. I'm telling you, immediately it punches you. I really like this is why I'm continuing to eat it. I didn't think that I would like it with the mustard in it because I'm not a huge fan of hot mustard. But mustard looks like it's just for color. Mm. Okay, so, all right. Initially, you first, sorry, I don't know why my phone keeps shutting off the camera. I think my phone is just getting full and, uh, I want to try a camera, but filming on the phone is so much more convenient for uploads because it's easier and faster on the app. Mm, but anyway, so like I was saying, the initial flavor of this you get is a big... Um, first, you get the light flavor of the mustard, which I thought I wasn't going to like with this. And then you get the big sour punch of vinegar. And then the heat comes. And now that it's been sitting in my mouth for a couple minutes, it, you feel it very warm on your lips. And it leaves that warmness on your lips. Definitely a hot sauce. This is definitely a hot sauce um, that you want to use sparingly if you have a extreme heat tolerance, not a heat tolerance, and you don't like spicy things. This is not for you. It is very, very hot. Um, this is definitely a Mexican heat for sure, or a Hispanic heat. Um, yes, so there is that. But um, it does have all the flavors of the onion and the habanero peppers and the mustard. I might be, would have been inclined more to try the other ones as they sound delicious, except they did have food coloring in them. So check your ingredients before you read them. But I think this would also be good on like grilled vegetables you make a sauce and then just add a few drops of this for a heat on your sauce or even like um soy meats or whatever you use spicy basting you can add it to like a basting sauce or marinated oh if you marinated tofu with this that would be bomb and then grilled it yes but Anyways, I guess that's enough talk about salsa. But yes, it does. If you ate a lot of this, would make you sweat. That's for sure. My mouth is still very warm. Not my tongue so much, but if you get it on your lips, it's one of those things that will stay warm all day long. So there is that. But this is the Ferron, Ferron Hot Sauce Habanero Authentica Saison. And this is the orange one. It also comes in a red and a green. But I may or may not try those just because it has food coloring in them. Um, this is definitely not something that you want to eat just with a chip. You want to mix it in some kind of dish. But anyways, that's my opinion and I'm sticking to it. I'm going to go enjoy some spicy food. I'm going to make some healthy nachos. So if you want to see how I make healthy nachos with a twist, well, let me know, comment down below, and I will go ahead and do that. But yeah, stay cool, stay out of the heat, drink enough water, and everything in moderation except for your fruits and vegetables. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.